Hello, this is Jay the Six Saiyan here. Okay, um, first off, I didn't want, I, this isn't part of the video, but I thought I needed to add it anyway. I apologize for my dog. Uh, she hasn't been able to shut up all day, no matter what anybody says. So I'm hoping she won't show up on the recording here. And if she does, I apologize, because nothing I can say or do will ever get her to shut up, so... Um, I'm, I will try not to have it happen again, but I can't make any guarantees on that. She's just, an, she's the worst when it comes to being loud and bark, 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 bark. Alright, the gist of it. For those that know me personally, you know I've been doing this kind of thing non-professionally for as long as we've known each other. For those that don't know me, well, I do voices and accents on occasion to be more entertaining. And admittedly, this has been done to freak people on the phone when I was a kid in middle school and high school. And if you don't know what and if you don't know what freaking people on the phone is, it's called, you know, it's spelled with a ph at the beginning of the word as opposed to the correct f. And it's a, it's another word for prank. And even I, and I even turned out an entertaining one at that, one time when I was when I called a pizzeria, and it's in Denver somewhere I forget the name of the place, and I actually convinced the poor bastards that I was in fact, Eric Catman. Some of the voices I've used was Joe Pesci, Patrick Stewart, Sean Connery, and a few others. Among them, Simpsons, Family Guy, Beavis and Butthead, and King of the Hill characters. Etc, etc. And this was when I was in high school. Of course, Family Guy was, you know, after I started go. Well, no, it was just before I graduated, so. Well, anyway, we all had a nice laugh about that. And the best fun I had doing this was to bill collectors that behaved like unprofessional assholes as if I was as if I was the one that they were after when they were calling for my dad that's how big of an assholes they were they didn't need to be they just were so I had fun with them anyway I would answer the phone as either an Arab cab company in New York I had lots of fun with that one Yankee Stadium Fenway Park, a receptionist at Grand Central Station, and even after a friend's prank on me, a German bakery. I would also answer in mock Japanese. Some of the words I do know and use them to be convincing as a Japanese person. So, on to the voices. I'm probably going to do this in audio only to help further di the suspension of disbelief that these are the voices because I think it might be awkward if you hear these voices coming out of my mouth as opposed to the characters. I will ask about that and you know you got you decide. So here we go. Master Roshi. <coughs> <laughs> I just want to squeeze those melons. Oh, Boma, Boma, Boma. You're just what I needed. Yajirobi. I find those stinking aliens. You want to know where Goku is? He's training in hell. Ask the old witch. Mr. Satan. I tell you, it's all a trick. I'm the strongest in the universe. It's all a trick. Raditz. What the hell is wrong with you, Kakarot? You were supposed to exterminate this planet's inhabitants. <clears throat> Vegeta. So, tell me. Does a machine feel fear? I get it. This is Kami's doing. This is something he would be capable of. That bastard. 
He's thinking of using Goku again for some nonsense or other. And Kami. You know, Mr. Popo, it is never a pleasurable experience to contemplate one's death, even for a god. Goku, you must address him as the great King Yama. Okay, Nappa. <laughs> That means you're expendable. <laughs> I love doing Nappa's voice. I love making fun of Nappa too. God damn it, Nappa! Alright, that's it for the Dragon Ball characters. Now, South Park characters. This ought to be good. <clears throat> Eric Cartman. I am a cat, and you will respect my authority! Officer Barbrady. Move on, people! Nothing to see here, you little lucky wills! Mr. Mackey. Marijuana is bad, okay? Because marijuana is a drug. Drugs are bad, okay? Mr. Hanky. Howdy, hell, Kyle! And of course, Kyle and maybe some random kids. Dude, sick! Man, that kid is fucked up! That's Stan. <laughs> I can't really do Kenny's voice muffled that way because I don't. Because they, they use a sound filter, but that's kind of what he sounds like. So. If that didn't come out, no worries, you know? Because sometimes that happens. Dr. Mephisto. It's a miracle of modern science. Dude! Random, random people. Dude! Uncle Jimbo. Kill it, Dad! Kill it! Kill it! Mr. Garrison. What do you think of this scenario, Mr. Hat? I think it sucks, Mr. Garrison. And, of course, Big Gay Al. Who couldn't who could forget Big Gay Al? He's not that he's not that hard to spot in a crowd. <laughs> and I bet you he thinks that's just super. Alright, family guy characters. Peter Griffin. Hey Lois, look. Two symbols of the Republican Party. An elephant and a fat white guy threatened by change. <laughs> Freaking sweet. Stewie. Well, you all know what I learned this week. Being a grown-up sucks. We met Brian. What a royal pain in the ass. It's like, it's like, why can't you just hang out with guys, you know? Just live with someone of your own sex. Just do what you do with women, but with your body. You know what? Why don't what guys just do that? They do. It's called being gay. Oh, is that what gay is? Oh, yeah. I could totally get into that. Quagmire. Isn't there supposed to be an O? in country I couldn't do that with a straight face and why not they're funny lines that's why they're funny because they make you laugh alright and quagmire quagmire oh uh, alright giggity 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 Simpsons characters Mayor Quimby I hereby declare the working day shall commence for Quimby. Chief Wiggum. <clears throat> uh, you got the wrong number. This isn't 911. This is uh, 912. Krusty the Clown. You call that a cartoon? I can pull a better cartoon out of my ass. Oh! Hey, kids! <laughs> Mr. Burns. Smithers. Who the hell is that fat snub in the middle of my screen? Smithers' reply would, of course, be, uh, That's Homer Simpson, sir. You're a safety inspector from Sector 7G. Simpson, eh? I'd like to see this Simpson in my office. Right away, sir. 
Snake. This is Snake is a game show host. You are so the weakest link. Bye. Oh no. Cops. And of course, one of my, one of my favorites, the joke. That's right, Artie. Bring in the press, why don't you? With a photo op! The councilman and his wacky pal. Tiss, tiss. And if he got tax money, he goes to pay those jerks. Oh, but you knew about it afterwards. And put it to good use, eh? <laughs> Pobot, not the babe. Ooh, you devil. <laughs> Shh. Now ain't that a kawiki dink? We're talking about the old man and the spawn of his lloyds just happens to call. Makes you want to laugh, doesn't it, Artie? <laughs> don't you re don't you remember you, me, Sally and the gang? To find out who's ice the old cat. Wrong. It ain't the bat. Nope, nope, nope. I've seen the guy. He looks more like the ghost of Christmas future. They were near as cute as a bat boy. Yeah. Someone who wouldn't mind seeing all of our old pals out of the way. And maybe... So... Me too. But then that's when I thought about you, Arturo. An important, upstanding guy like you would find it awkward if certain secrets were revealed about his past. <laughs> As when he takes a little boy aside, at, at, who's the, he's the mayor's son, at a birthday party and explains to him how to be a good at, how to be a good magician. <clears throat> to be a successful magician, you have to follow three steps. Step one: run away. Step two, find yourself a great act. Step three, steal it. Hello, operator. I believe my party's been disconnected. <laughs> Beavis and Butthead characters, including the title characters themselves. <laughs> uh, hey, baby. I'm like, uh, Pretty tall. Uh. <laughs> Get the hell out of here, pal! I saw this chick first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if that was good. I used to do better for. I used to do better versions of them. So, Prince Wally Vicker. Duh! was the butthead, you little bastards! You're expelled! Time. Hey, girls. I thought I told you to bring some, have something to drink next time. Damn it, my good jeans. You little preschoolers are dead, man. You made me spill beer all over my pants. Just take the TV back to the AV room right now and try to be more open to positive life experiences. Okay. Coach Buzz Cut. Beavis and Butt Head! What is the square root of nine? Uh, I don't know if there's. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, Tom, Ander Tom Anderson. Man, just what the hell's going on out here? What the hell's that damn noise? Must of them damn buzzard hawks again. Say, wait a minute, you two look kind of familiar. Aren't you the two kids that have been whacking off in my tool shed? Whacking off in my camper? <laughs> Never have I seen two boys do so much damn whack. <laughs> I love that shit. Okay. Sean Connery. <clears throat> oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, that's that's kind of my list for uh, fictional and or otherwise n maybe not real characters. Now on to celebrities. 
Sean Connery. I see you think you can take me on. Well, I have news for you, tough guy. I'll kick your ass any other fucking day of the week. If you smart mouth me again, I'll slap you. I'll slap you upside the head. Slap you upside the head. <laughs> With my dick. <laughs> he never really said that, by the way. He never really said that, by the way. That's something I did when I pranked a when I pranked a place of business when I was younger. Patrick Stewart, you just hung up on someone placing an order. How do you feel about that, number one? Because now you're number two, Sylvester Stallone. You know, I I don't know how to feel about the way you're talking. Just like you you. You probably don't know how the way I, that you feel about me, you know. Um, all I want is a double cheese pizza delivered to the studio. Now, can you or can you not do that? If you can't do that, what the hell is the problem? Can't do it. Then, damn it, I'll find someone else who can't. Cause that's how winning is done. Beetlejuice. You bunch of losers! I thought we had a deal. Nice fucking model. Joe Pesci. This is by far one of my favorite voices to imitate. Now I'm probably just paraphrasing, but this is from the good. This is from the good fellas. Yeah, you think I'm funny, huh? You think I'm a funny guy, huh? You think I'm funny like I'm some kind of fucking clown? I mean, I amuse you? You think I'm funny, huh? That's it! I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this fucking guy! I think you gotta be on your fucking knees thanking me. You get me for nothing, you little fuck. <laughs> he's, uh, he's by far one of my favorite actors. In fact, like, kind of like George Carlin, I kind of pray to Joe Pesci. Oh, great Pesci! And, that, and my prayers get answered at the same rate, too. 50-50 chance. Uh, and this is going to get hilarious. George Takei. Oh, my. Oh, my. And last of the celebrities, William Shatner. And William Shatner. Last of the celebrities on this list. There's a thing out there. Some thing. Captain's Lock, start date 2842.5. We are on route to Rigel 7 to discover the fate of Captain Christopher Pike and to determine why the Federation has ordered. That no ship shall ever come across Rigel 7. Well, we may find. They put us all at great risk. There's a thing out there. These are the ones I had the most fun with. The Arabian accent. I love the infidel. I mean, falafel the cab. This is Ahmed. Where are you want the cape to go? I transfer you to Habib. Yeah, German accent. Hello, Schlesinger House. This is Dieter. Who is this? Ah, Ved. Are you interested in a delicious cake? Yeah. You are? Wunderbar! Japanese accent. Most, most. Nani? Oi! What has Okata? New York accent. Brooklyn and Jewish. They're kind of distinct. Those are the accents I know anyway. I mean, there's probably other 
accents, but Brooklyn's the one I'm most familiar with. What do you want? Now well, listen, buddy, you gotta dial the right extension to get to the MetLife building, okay? Seriously. Oh, okay. Thanks for the tip, boy chick. What a sugar and a debacle. Oh, I very Spanish accent. Spanish accent. So, do you prefer to compete in the Barcelona Bull Run? Come on, show some cojones. Italian accent. So, I call you today to talk some business with you. And uh, I would uh, like uh, to set up a meeting. Does that sound good to you? The stereotypical English accent. <clears throat> I actually don't know what I'm going to say here. Maybe to join me for a spot of tea? Would you like one lump or two? Good sir. Russian accent, another favorite of mine. Welcome to Perestroika Shore, where we talk about news and give opinion on Western politics. Then we try vodka and eat pickled egg and watch Irina and Ivanka wrestle. Russian women very large. And Soviet Russia, women wear pants in relationship. And nothing, and nothing is better than taking the last, and nothing is better than taking the last sip as the flames are about to beat the maple leaves, eh? Assuming these came out, I got one question for this video, for you, the audience. Why? Why can't I do all these voices and accents? Quite simple. Because I'm Batman. That's it for now. My name is Jay the Sixth Saiyan. Sketch your power levels later. Bonsai!